Hi hey guys. Good afternoon. What did you feel when you entered the field? Uh, were you able to enjoy the, the, the people or were you still on focus for the game? Yeah, that was one of the great uh, football experiences I've ever had. So it says a lot for 23 years in the league and for a regular season game. And I think the fan turnout was incredible. It felt like uh, very electric from the time we took the field. So uh, at the end of the game with them singing Sweet Caroline and uh, Country Row, that was that was pretty epic. So I think everyone who's a part of that experience uh, got to got to have something pretty uh, a pretty amazing memory for their life. So thank you for hosting us. We appreciate it. Thank you. When this game was announced, Seahawks Buccaneers, Tom Brady either had unretired or was about to, and Russell Wilson was gone, and you know it had a vibe like this is a Buccaneers romp. This is the Globe Trotters against the Washington Generals. Can you gauge how big the NFL is in, oh, yeah. in Germany? Yeah, no doubt. Three million requests for tickets apparently were had. I met somebody who said they were 25,000th online. They never got through. This is a market that the NFL has been dying to partner with. I think there's going to be a ridiculous amount of interest. So many folks here in Germany can't believe the NFL's here for a regular season game. It's a beautiful thing for your job to take you across the world. Germany and Austria are the best American football fans all over Europe, so we have to prove it. What is the other chance you're going to come to Germany for an American football game? Exactly. Especially to see the box. We are ready to fire the canyons in Germany, so we're here. Julio Jones trying to score! Touchdown! Everybody know we came over here for by Devin White. Oh, you definitely want to touch lives of many people, especially like fans that don't get to see our game. So I'm happy that we get the opportunity to, to play in another country. Look, you play a lot of games in our country, but I'm always going to remember this particular game because it's such a unique experience. What did you think when you saw Germany on the schedule? I've never been to Germany before. I don't know. I don't know. Germany? Oh, it's a, it's a big game. Anytime we can play outside the country, you know, get a, get a fan, get those fans some, uh, some love. So it'd be a good game. Bringing football to other countries only increases the amount of people that become great fans of our sport. And we love it. We hope other people love it as much as we do. The experience is going to be great. I mean, it's definitely going to be great for the fans, for the overseas fans, the international fans. It's tough because you leave so late and you get in and you really don't see much, but the excitement of it will be a little bit different because it's a place we've never been. I think it's pretty cool. I've never been out of the country. Um, I think the first thought in my head was I'm excited to try some, some German beer over there. I'm a little nervous to fly across the ocean, though. Well, I was like, boy, another flight across the water. I mean, you know, I don't like being on a, I don't like flying on planes that long because it, it gives me anxiety sometimes. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have their first touchdown in Munich. And while it's not the first time this team has gone international, this trip feels decidedly different. Because in the ever expanding world of the NFL, the Bucs are new age pioneers chosen as the first franchise in NFL history to host a regular season game in Germany. And the more you look around town, it's clear that the Bucks are in a country that's been passionate about football for decades. To see the fans sort of anticipate this for so long, we didn't just drop into Germany. Uh, we, we actually played our first game in Germany in 1990 uh, in an American Bowl in Berlin. And it was a great success. But then we've had the World League and the NFL Europe. But this is our first regular season NFL game in Germany. And I think uh, we'll be able to see how the fans have really developed with the game and how they love the game. And so that's the number one thing for me. Tickets went on sale for the game back in the summer, where more than 3 million fans crossed their fingers for a chance to be one of roughly 70,000 in attendance. It's like part five of the day. <laughs> the German interest in football goes far beyond fascination. It's reaching a fever pitch. A young woman who was talking about her boyfriend gets her up at 2 o'clock to watch games. 
and how they actually had six or seven people with computers um, when the tickets went on sale. And the work that they had to do to get there, to be in the stadium on Sunday, it's just, it just adds another element of excitement, of course. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm at the home of FC Bayern, uh, which is the, you know, the, the academy of Bayern Munich. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are practicing right now. Um, and we're, we're here at the practice, Dan. Uh, this, I'm giving you access. Uh, it's the media portion of practice. So oh, okay. there's a bit of uh, German media here. You're not going to necessarily remember every game you play in your whole career. Um, but these ones you do remember. They're very special. Um, just to go to another place and, I mean, have an experience like this. You know, when I'm older, I'll be thinking about practicing in that stadium right there and then going to play in, in, uh, in Allianz Arena, which is amazing. So this is your whole life is made of memories and experiences and to do it with the teammates and do it with the game that I love. And football has brought me a lot of places in life. And it's brought me to Germany now because I've never been here before, but um, I'm definitely coming back. I just hope that I get some pictures and videos of myself, you know what I mean, so I can post it on social media, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard to get some good quality. You know, it's hard. Especially on my good side, you feel me? You know what I mean? So. Which side? Which side? <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you might want to keep rotating that. <laughs> you gotta look like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Right, I can't right. be around y'all. <laughs> hey, no, you laughing too hard. I mean, it's always an adjustment uh, anytime you come. You know, you go overseas, but you know, I think we have like we have a really good sports science team that like they did a good job preparing us for it. Um, but there's only so much you can do. You know, once you get over here, your body has to adjust, um, and it's still kind of like in the process of doing it. Um, but so far, so good. I hope we want to welcome you to Munich, and you know uh, that looks uh, nice. In Bavaria, Lederhosen is. Uh, is a, a special one, and we have manufactured for you Amazing. a special one, a box one, with a TB12 logo on it. Very cool. And we are very proud to have you here in Munich. Thank you. And want you always to have good memories of your th when you think back to Munich. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You guys like that? How would that look going out to the game in that? <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Kyle Trask gonna wear that out there. <laughs> I know, guys, we're pumped to be coming over here off of a win. The Seahawks have been really riding some momentum into this game. When you put that offense on tape, given some of the weapons they have, what do you see? Talented. Talented, man. They're doing all the things right. You know what I'm saying? They're uh, taking care of the small things, running the ball well, throwing the ball well. And uh, they got a, uh, you know, hometown guy, Gino, calling the plays and uh, doing a great job for them. So uh, they're a very disciplined football team, fundamentally sound football team. So we got to uh, try to match that. Tomorrow morning, guys, the walkthroughs are in the stadium. The field will be a lot like this. Make sure we got our seven studs on to check the field out tomorrow. Other than that, make sure we catch up on our sleep and be ready for Sunday. Hey, let's go. Hey, do the proper things we need to do to win, man. That's what we came over here for. Win on three, one, two, three. Win! Wander out into the streets of Munich and be transported to a place from another time. Take a moment to hear the echoes of the old world and surround yourself with a German culture like no other. Today, two pieces of Buccaneers history have found themselves in the middle of it all. Hey guys, welcome to Munich. Hey, and I'm Fernando Gonzalez. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. So I'm today your local food blogger. I will show you around a bit of the city so we got much more than just bratwurst, pretzels, and maybe some beers that you already know. Maybe. 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 Right. So uh, we're here in the city center and we go just walk around to uh, the local town market, the Victorian market. Um, you can get more like the best spaces and vegetables and whatever, but some good food. But to be clear, we can't get beer, right? How many different types of beer are made here? A lot of different brands. We got like the local brands that like more people like love the Weiss beer, for example. So we got like more, like a, this is a harder beer. Yeah. Then you got like the dark beer, that's like a typical one, and the hellas that is like, I would say like a lager. lager, yeah. lager. Every age of everybody like has started, a beer. Yeah, there's, like, there's no other, there's with, no other with drink. Si with, yeah, with 16 you can start drinking beer and wine. So that's the beginning of the whole thing. You can drink before you can drive here. Yeah. <laughs> so let's grab a seat. How's your beer? I haven't tried yet. <laughs> Good. 
we're gonna try some. <laughs> One thing that I really like is the ox sandwich. So we got some ox steaks, salt, pepper, caramelized onion, crunchy bread, but also a liver custard is like... A liver custard? Liver custard, yeah. Like, we got here the first ones. Oh, oh man. You should try. This is the liver custard. Okay. Um, so it's like... It's oven baked, it's super nice, and this is the, the ox steak sandwich. This is ox steak. This looks like something Mike would eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we oh, got some oh, good there we go. Yeah. You're gonna wash it down. <laughs> Guys, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice this to is have awesome, you here. Dude. It's really I appreciate awesome. you. Oh my God, the sweet mustard. This is like a game changer, you know? Holy cow. What is like, I know that's just mustard with something else in it, but that is delicious. But the sweet mustard makes like the, brings it to the next right, level. Like right. you got like what, the saltiness. To be honest, it's like a different kind of mustard to use. Oh, we got to break the egg, right? We yeah, gotta, we go gotta, for it. We got to get it all going, right? We got to get it all going. Yeah. Do it. Let's go do for it. Let's get messy. Yeah, right? And this is like a really comfort food. Where's my bib? I need a bib. <laughs> <laughs> that might be oh, unbelievable. I had a good meal last night. This tops it. That is yeah. unbelievable, man. Where were you at a week ago when I was here? I mean, I could have been hanging out with you. You can stay here. <laughs> I can show you the city. Beer is part of an elementary, like um, part of food. For to say, beer is food here. It's like your identity, though, right? It's like your identity. Let's you take you identity. Have a, you got like the Reinheitsgebot. If you don't have the, the beer, you don't have the you don't have the customers, basically, right? Because they're gonna. Yeah, you you, you just got the beer that got like a um, high quality food. So there's like the Reinheitsgebot. It's called. You don't have to add sugar, so it has to be like this traditional way how it's made since years. So not everybody can do it. It's made by monks. It like is. yeah, so when they are doing like during uh, I would say Easter. They don't eat like you got like the 40 days of how it's called when you don't eat like fasting. Fasting. Yeah. So what they did was drinking beer, and they had like really. So you just drink beer, you don't eat, you just drink beer. Yeah. Uh, so it was like. Oh wow, that was like, like last night for me, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> sounds like sounds like training camp. <laughs> yeah, right. How you doing? <laughs> We'll go now to um, a spot that is like maybe for some of us kind of weird. So they got a lot of pickled stuff. Oh man. That one. <laughs> you want that one? Yeah, well, okay, whatever, we take yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So all I was just, I don't know how to pronounce it, so just that one, that one, that one, right? Watch out, man. It's very juicy. Get on your pants. <laughs> this is a uh, mustard pickles. Do you want to try it? Sure. But do you want Meinst du, du kannst uns ein bisschen so lieben geben? So ganz bisschen so zum Oh my god. This is nice, right? That's really good. But this is how like something you, different. How can you call this a pickle when it's not a pickle? He said this was mustard. Yeah, no, you, you'll, you'll, you'll taste it. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, man. no, it's like, like so different. This right, one are now eight uh, to ten different kind of olives. Uh, so we got like fresh spices, we got some yeah. chili on it, we got some... Chili? Yeah, yeah. I see the chili, the red. You, you see the chili? Yeah. Mm. That one's good. Like, I also like, try this one. This one? Yeah. The purple? The purple one. Mm. Oh, a bone in it? There's a core in there. It's a bone. <laughs> Watch your teeth, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling me. I heard that you maybe got some origin from Germany in your name, like Alstadt. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it like that? Yeah, no, yeah. And, and from where? Like A L S D T A T and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So there's like spelling, different spellings of it as it. Altstadt, there. Yeah, so um, we were on a train and we went to another town, city, and they had like that. It was cool and we kind of like roamed around. So yeah, I know my whole heritage and everything is from the German. German. Yeah. What is this cool? My mom was here when she was a kid because she was a military. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. In parts of Germany. And she said, like, we were ever in Munich. And she said it was her favorite city to come to. Oh, that's nice. Because it was because of this. So right 
right now we come to my favorite place called Kasper Plaus. And this guy is this like, is your this is your place? This is my this is this is my living room. Like this is a my guys. I love it. And and the nice thing is that So what do we what do we what, what is the specialty here? Like the thing is they are doing like the I would say new interpretation of a baked potato. So the potato will always be like our base. Right. But the dishes over it will be like super different and we're lucky this week they turned five years old. So they're doing like a big celebration with a special potato. And this potato is made by a one Michelin star uh, cook. So we, we're getting like high level food. It smells amazing. I don't know if you ever tried this one. This is like a local soft drink. Cheers. It's like yeah. a mix of Coke. Beer. No, Coke and um, Fanta. Especially this one. Freaking Pepsi or Coke or... Paulana. Yeah. And it's a it's beer? It's a brand. And Spezi is called the, the drink. And... So there's no alcohol in this. Sharing is caring, so we put everything in the middle. So. Sharing is caring. Oh, here we go. I like well, of course, it. We're learning. Of course, of course. All right, did we just dig it in? I mean, fish is awesome. This is like traditional from the area around Frankfurt. This is. I know one thing, I'm skipping lunch. Mm. This is your lunch. Yeah, this is. This is it. I've been here yesterday. I've been here on Wednesday. Like, this is, <laughs> this is like my living room. said it's like his couch. Like you, they need to build oh, you. Off the they need to build you a couch. And, oh my God, that 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 right there is amazing. Food for me got something very emotional. Like like asking you, you will like what's your favorite dish? You would never say, oh, I like this entrecote with some truffles on it. You would say it's like I don't know the one dish that my mother always used to do or like my my grandma. Yeah, corned beef hash. <laughs> yeah, right. right. What for you? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> for me, it's like French toast. Right. Like my mom used right. to do French toast for me, and it was like always like this one special thing. So where, 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 where are you taking us to? We're taking we you going? to we one of the, I think, most like best place that every local should right. know. We're going to go to, I would say, something like the origin of the German donut. So this place got hundreds of years there. Everybody in Munich knows it. Schmalz Nudel. Schmalz is like, it's like a deep fried noodle. So what goodie bag did you just get, bro? Why not? Oh man, look at that. Do you go for right. the street size, or is the different, but it's What's the difference the with the shape? Why the, the just the shape, but here you got like the middle is a bit crunchier. If you go all for fluffy stuff. This looks like a gingerbread man. And you can get it fresher. I mean, you can get it on some beer gardens, but this is like the freshest place you can get it. Dude, this is amazing. I, they're the same? They're the same. Just a different style or different? Different style, and you got like this in the middle, like the thin part. I'm double fisting donut. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm really proud. It's like a, like a frisbee, you know? They're really good. Every one is formed by hand. Right. Like nothing, machine oh, gun. look at that. And this is like a klapfen. You want to try something like that? What is that? This is a, a raw noodle. That's just a raw. And like what I like is like the... Raw noodle? Yeah. Wie bitte? Zwetschke. Get in there, Mikey. Hey, that's where you... Uh... Just bite, just bite. Do, you, you have to do like the big bite. Oh, there you go. There you go. And this is different, like. Oh my God. That's like a jelly donut in your stage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But I better. Mean, warm, yeah, 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 yeah. Warm, better, like handmade. But I think we should grab a beer, right? Let's grab a beer. I love Let's grab beer. a beer. So uh, we will take three beer. Three helle. All right, so this is what we have, this right? This is the Helles, this is the, the typical one. This is the Schrank beer, so this is like the tap beer they got here, it's like semi special. And this is the Weiss beer, so it got a bit more vein, you say like, you see it's not that clear. Yeah. This is the one you can also drink for breakfast, right. but only when you eat your no, Weiss sausages. Like, every beer has its own glass? It, it got different glasses because it presented different, so the taste also expands in a different the way. The presentation does, so right? Also on this one, like, you got normally the crown is really high, yeah. so you need a higher glass. Yeah, yeah. Team yes. dinners, drink beer? Always. I think we're going to get Tom, Tom oh. Brady to do that before. Uh, 
Yeah. That would have been dangerous you back you in the day. You're going to get Brady to do that before no, the game? No, but you know, me and you back in the day. But you can also have this with, without alcohol, so it's just uh, energy for the body, you know? Hey, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Is that a schnapp? Yeah, we got schnapps. We got schnapps from around Bavaria. Um, and they're so doing this, like this, a, this is a schnapp fair? It's a schnapp fair. Schnapp fair. Schnapp fair? Schnapp fair. Schnapp fair. Should we go and, and see if we can get some? Get some schnapp? Would you want some schnapp? Man, this is like a port type of thing. You know, that, you know what I mean? That I would, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, you can make it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's been a great day. Hey, it was hey. awesome. Let's finish we, it up. We had some great food, beverage, everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was awesome. Oh my god, they love American football here. They I, do. I've never seen so many jerseys of so many teams anywhere in my life. Yeah, we're here for nine days total, so we're here to experience Germany. It's a pleasure to be here because it's the first game ever on German. On German soil. Yes, well, I think it just shows just how big the sport is and how big the books are, just to see all these jerseys from different areas. I mean, great for the sport, great for the club. Yeah, just seeing the logo has been absolutely amazing. People, you know, everybody shouts go Bucks as you're walking past. Yeah. Like, it's just a real friendly atmosphere. Just everybody coming together from all over the world, no matter where you're from, just with a love of Bucks football. We're going to get this win, baby. Go Bucks, Tampa, Florida. <laughs> it's amazing. Yesterday we had dinner with a lot of uh, Buccaneers fans from UK, Germany, uh, Belgium, uh, Cayman uh, Island. Uh, we're from Mexico. Uh, many years ago, I just decided that I have to choose the team that I would like to represent in Finland. And uh, well, of course, Mike Evans is the one and only that I like with all my heart. And of course, I like our rookies now. We just like Tom Brady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <He's cool. laughs> yeah. Uh, long story, a few years ago, we, saw, uh, we drank a lot of beers and we had uh, a Super Bowl party in Vienna, in our capital city. And I, I bought a shirt from the Bucks. Hey, don't, I didn't know what the Bucks is or are, and so I decided to, to think about the Buccaneers. And I googled the city, I googled the stadium, and I saw a Mara pirate ship in the stadium. And so I decided to be a Denver Bay Buck. The fans are great. They're getting bigger. The fan base are getting bigger, bigger. Each year, more and more thousands of people are coming to see the football game. And we are really uh, excited about this game today and hope in the, in the future there will be more games for the, for the Germans. The NFL London games are cool and awesome. But I think the most American football fans are speak German, German language. And now we have to prove it in Munich. If it's true, I hope so. Because Germany and Austria are the best American football teams all over Europe. We have to prove it. Just a remarkable historic moment. You saw fans wiping away tears. So many folks here in Germany can't believe the NFL's here for a regular season game. Well, the Seahawks have had a great organization for a long time. And I think Coach Carroll's had a lot of continuity there and a lot of stability. 
it's going to be a big challenge to go there and score points and go to a new place. There's going to be some different distractions. We're going to have to deal with some different things that we're not used to, but we're going to have to maintain our focus in order to beat a good football team. Flip out to Walker. He's got some room. And a nice tackle right there by Devin White. Otherwise, it could have gone for much more. <laughs> Joe Tryon with the sack. Joe is freaky athletic. Like, just the way he is built and the bend that he has and the twitch and the length. So now it's like it's time to make a, a, a big impact. Great patience. Yeah. Yeah. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. Now you want to Yeah. 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 When you play with swag, that means you know your assignment, you understand your assignment, that means you have a lot of confidence, and that means you can play a lot freer. We're trying to get right with everything we do and play with some swagger. Honestly, that's exactly what the Bucks have been missing on offense. Just trying to find a running game of any note. In the middle of that Seahawks defense. It's another run for one up the middle. And a nice first down run. Move the chains. Gain of 10. Right from midfield, middle of the shield. It's Fournette. Makes a move. He's free. Runs over Andre Diggs and another first down. Tom Brady play action throws over the middle for Evans, the all time leader in receiving for the Bucks. Brady fakes and finds Evans. First down out of bounds. Move the chains. Good offenses do a good job of keeping the defense off balance. And when you do throw it, where are you throwing? You're throwing it deep, you're throwing it short, you're throwing it inside, outside. Our ability to move in and out of those different things based on what we see defensively is going to be really important to our success. Brady flings it wide open. Julio Jones. Julio Jones trying to score. Touchdown. One yards! Bucks on top! Hey! Way to go, boy! Hey! Push. You know, it's Julio Jones. He's been one of the top receivers in his league for a while. He wants to do great, whether it's a run play called, he wants to win his matchup. If it's a pass play and he's not necessarily the first read, he doesn't care. He still can run all the routes. He's still very confident. Uh, he just had some bad breaks with injuries. I mean, if he stays healthy, he's still one of the best in the game. You wanted that contact, didn't you? I want it. I want it. Hey, so listen to me, right? The linebackers get anything. Why? Because you motherfuckers are blocking. All right? So make sure you keep your eyes up on all double teams and all run through. You understand? And normally, the home crowd doesn't do the wave when the home team's <laughs> out there, but you got to. You got to love it. I mean, <laughs> these fans are just so jacked up. Second and eight. Fournette again. Fournette making a move and a first down run for Leonard Fournette. Rashad White back in. Brady takes it to him. Throws it over the middle to Godwin. First down Tampa Bay. If I do what I do in the pocket, it allows me to play the game at a high level because my distribution of the football is what I feel like you know, I've been, be, been able to be good at over the years and really improve my skill set in that area and you know, my ability to pass the football. Brady. In a rhythm. Over the wide open Scotty Miller, who juggled it and went down. He's ruled. Have 
having made the catch, but had he not gone down and not juggled it, there was no one around him. We talk a lot about Tampa Bay's lack of being able to run the football. This is where it shows up more than anywhere else. It's down in the red zone where it's so hard to throw the football. You've got to be able to run it. Quick snap for an end. Touchdown. Whoa. Devin White is a big reason why. Before the game, the Bucks captain received an unexpected phone call that would change his life moving forward. Well, Devin's been playing well for us all year. Him handling things that he had to deal with was the passing of his father, you know, and that, that stays with you the rest of your life, but he's handled it well since he's been here. Uh, he still comes out and performs and plays, and he gives his heart and soul to the team, and that's what we love about him. First and 10 from 30. He can get something on the board before half. Geno Smith. He is sacked by Devin White. Right up the gut. Because Seattle's had five possessions, five punts already. This Bucks defense really came to play. Brady. Throws. The Bucks' offense is rolling, and the only thing stopping them at this point is an unexpected slip-up. Here's Fournette to Brady in the direct snap. Fournette, he is going to throw it to Brady. Oh, and Brady slips and is picked up by Tariq Woodham. Oh, my goodness gracious. I think Tom Brady might have tripped him there at the end. That may be the flag that they're calling. After the interception, tripping. Offense, number 12. That 10 penalty will be enforced from the dead ball spot. First down. Timeout. Second and goal from the nine. Smith. He's going to run it himself. He's running out of time instead. He's found it. Ball's loose. And the Bucks recover. Wow. What is that? Them the blood cloud ready, nah. Them the blood cloud ready. Them the blood cloud ready, what? Them the blood cloud ready, let me see. Hey, y'all knew that was coming, right? Oh, yes! I told them. They go for God's sake. They go for God's sake. Bucks are 8 of 12 on the third down so far. Right. Nice patience, and he's free. Rashad White, one man to beat, and he shuts him down. He just threw Diggs out of the club here in Munich. Gain of 28. What's up? What's up? What's up, big boy? And that's the exclamation point. Very good from the shield. Steps up. Looks his way, looks the other way, and it's a touchdown, Chris Godwin. see it in his cuts and his movement off the ball and his blocking, the way he's getting downfield and coming in and out of breaks. And his quickness has come back, his speed has come back, and his power has come back, and it's good to see. Hey, I know what you were talking about. The Buccaneers came to Munich with a lot to prove. They leave tonight having shown Germany 
and the rest of the world that their ability to perform well in big games is still very much alive. Tom, there's not a lot of firsts we can ask you about anymore in your career, but this was a first today for the NFL and for you in yeah. Germany. Describe what this was like. It was a great atmosphere. It felt like a, you know, a really hyped up game. We came out for warm up, so it was pretty electric. And I, I hope the German fans got what they wanted. And uh, glad we slugged it out and found a way to win. Well, how much shorter will this plane ride feel back to Tampa? It feels good, but you know we got a long way to go. We're just five and five, so trying to figure it out. Keep grinding and try to get better. What a scene. Congratulations, Thank you. Tom. Appreciate it. Hey! Hell of a job not coming out here sightseeing. Okay? Yeah. Not coming out here sightseeing. That's two in a row for us. Ooh. We got to start stacking them. We got to start stacking them. Thank you. Hey. Way to go. Awesome. Everybody will get their game ball when we come back, including Rashawn. But this guy right here, his dad passed right before he got on the plane. And he came out to play no matter what and didn't have to get on the plane, Devin White. Hey, I wouldn't want to be nowhere but with y'all, man. Y'all the comfort man for me, man. We held it down, man. Hey, great dog. The crowd was electric. <laughs> the crowd was electric, though. It, it was loud throughout the ball game from beginning to end. Uh, I thought the German fans were outstanding, and it was a great place to play. I love the energy um, here in Germany. Um, the fans, they was amazing. Regardless if they was booing, who they was going for, we just love the energy. We love fans being in tune, so it was good. Everybody accepted us over here, and that was just a blessing, you know, just coming over here to their country. I mean, we thankful, and we enjoyed the trip over here, and hope we get to come back soon. Uh, this is as good as it gets, so. You know, even around town, there was a lot of really cool fanfare, and then driving in today, it looked like there was a lot of excitement, so. Hopefully we entertained everyone. That was our that was our goal coming out here.